2012-3500 flex plate first we thought it was a starter changed it which it was pretty nasty and thought it was a flex plate issue but I hope you guys can see this it should be right where I can see it got the light on it see the flex plate here is first thing we thought I rolled it around, mocked it, and I mean there might have been two thousandths inch, if that, uh, play, not play, but uh, warp, which that's not major, major, but it's got a little bit of warp to it, but I think this occurred after my issue occurred. And what I have is the adapter plate bolts in the top have backed out and are hitting all the torque converter bolts. So... Here's the sound you'll hear when that occurs. Not pretty at all. But like I said, if you noticed, the flex plate actually wasn't even, you seen hardly any movement. But this top left bolt in the adapter plate on the 68 RFE, it's got four bolts on each side. And my main top left bolt, from what I'm seeing with a scope, is my culprit. It's backed out probably a quarter of an inch. It's touching all the torque converter bolts back in here the heads and it's actually rubbing the flex plate itself so I'm just going to change flex plate flywheel adapter plate all new bolts they torque in at 108 foot pounds red lock tight them sink them up hard as you can to 108 maybe let's go up to 110 it ain't going to hurt and should do it yeah the new starter wasn't the cure wish it would have been but yeah if you got a big truck you gotta pay